Hey guys, it's Paul from Ash Phoenix. It is New Comic Book Day for the week of August 16th, and we're going to get started right now. All right, guys, Tim from Capes and Scowls, and I'm going to tell you what trades are out this week. We're starting with Lock and Key, Heaven and Earth hardcover, which this covers the Lock and Key Grindhouse miniseries and the Guide to the Known Keys. So it's, I guess, a bonus kind of thing. I don't know. I thought Lock and Key ended with one through six. Gem and the Misfits! The Misfits! Whoa! They're badass. Then we got Unbelievable Gwenpool, Volume 3. Who thought it would go to 3? Not me. Deadpool, $20.99. Because why the hell not? Then we got Teen Titans Earth 1, Volume 2. If that's not a confusing title. Uh, I heard this was good. It's written by Jeff Lemire, so it probably is. We've got Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, Volume 3. It's got an Ethan Van Skyver cover. That's always fun. We've got Shit My President Says. The Illustrated Tweets of Donald J. Trump by Shannon Wheeler. This is the guy that did um, Too Much Coffee Man, I believe, and he did uh, God is Disappointed in You. They are all real tweets, and they're just silly and illustrated and kind of taken out of context. Not that that matters. They're pretty hilarious. We got Palookaville, which is a drawn and quarterly. Uh, this is volume 23. Um, these are kind of cool. I don't know a lot about them. Al loves them. And last but not least, Sex Castle got re-released in a bigger size. So support Kyle Starks, who I just had on my podcast for a wrestling thing. It's fun. So, yes, Sex Castle. It's the greatest thing ever. First up... Invincible, issue 137, or actually 139. Holy! Okay, seriously, up next, Astonishing X-Men, issue number two. Um, I love this series. Uh, the art is great. Um, the storyline is basically, we are dealing with uh, Charles Xavier. He's not dead. Well, he is dead. But uh, he's on the astral plane, and he is fighting uh, the Shadow King. And the X-Men are his pawns, and uh, <laughs> this is a very trippy issue but i really like how it's going um this is probably going to end up being my favorite book um from the x-men series even more than i liked um x-men gold and i really liked x-men gold do yourself a favor if you haven't picked up it, astonishing x-men one definitely pick that up and then pick up astonishing x-men two hey guys it's justina keys and this week i decided to read spider-man two number two because i read number one a few weeks ago and what can I say? I love when you put Peter Parker and Miles Morales together because the banter is the best. Um, in this one, you meet uh, Jessica Jones actually appears in this. And they're faced with fighting Taskmaster. And Peter's like, just, just don't mess with Taskmaster, just don't do it. And Miles is like, well, why? And then he finds out why. And uh, then there's a little bit of a surprise twist at the end, which is really interesting. So I recommend you read it. All right, guys, my first book is Spy Seal, number one, but Corton Steel Phoenix. Um, I don't know if Spy Seal has existed. I'm kind of under the impression he's been around. Um, this is your typical British James Bondy kind of spy book, um, but not as good. Uh, <laughs> it was okay. I really was taken out of it because of how bad the lettering was, which you wouldn't think that's a possibility, but oh yeah. The lettering is really terrible, and I liked everything else about the book, so I would just recommend getting a different letterer. I'm pretty sure this guy did everything, and I can appreciate that, but I hated the lettering so much, it was very hard for me to ignore it. Uh, the book was okay otherwise. If you enjoy spy books, there's nothing wrong with it, and I'm sure it, the story will get very interesting as it goes on. All right. I guess I am the events guy, because I'm... I'm not Tim, so I'm not jaded enough to hate events yet. Um, but I have a feeling I'll probably end up that way. Right, Tim? Absolutely. Tim Tim hates events. Um, well, actually, most people who've been reading comics for a long time hate events. But this is going to be the, uh, D the new DC event, um, Dark Knight's Metal. Um, if you like events, yay, you're good. If you don't tough this is going to be around till february uh this is going to be the big overarching uh batman crossover series it's going to be going through a lot of different books um so we're going to see how that goes i am not reading all the the uh the uh tie-ins because no i tried that with uh secret empire 
And no, that, that just crashed and burned. But Dark Knight's Metal, uh, you are dealing with uh, Batman, who in his quest for knowledge has inadvertently doomed us all to the dark multiverse dimension. And the Batman, uh, or the evil Batman, uh, and we're not talking like Earth-3 Batman, we're talking like real, like legitimately evil, evil Bat people are coming through, and you're going to basically get a Justice League uh, version of all the Batman. Uh, so, it's an interesting thing. I'm not really sure how sold I am on it yet. I'll definitely check out the others, but it is uh, interesting to see that Batman is the reason for all of this. It, through his... Uh, his quest for knowledge and him always having to be right was proved ultimately and terribly wrong. Um, so I'm curious to see if this is going to be a redemption story for him or just your typical uh, crisis type um, event. Curious to see how it goes. The art at least is somewhat decent. Um, the writing is is good because, it, I mean, it's Scott, it's Scott Snyder. So if you like anything Batman, you're going to like this. So... Uh, if you are a fan of the Bat titles, you are a fan specifically of Scott Snyder, definitely pick this up. Um, if you hate, uh, if you hate uh, events, you're probably not going to. Um, I'm going to give this one a shot. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm a little bit worried uh, because of how uh, how many titles like Secret Empire has done. Uh, DC, at least, it looks like it's not going to be going through that many titles. Uh, but we are still are going to see a lot of bleed through on the rest of this stuff. But uh, do yourself a favor and pick this one up at least to, uh, to see how it goes. I also read Rat Queens this week. This one was interesting. I had no idea what this was about. And Paul was like, it's kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, but really vulgar. And I was like, oh, right up my alley. And uh, one of the main characters, this one right here, Hannah, is exactly like my elf sorceress Cassia in my D&D campaign. So they, uh, they are basically kind of in this mirror thing and it shows them like the last time they were at home with their families and their loved ones and it's really sad and then they pop out and it's like oh so what'd you guys see nothing i don't want to talk about it it's fine whatever and then uh this weird like fish puffer fish guy who's kind of an asshole shows up and it's just like you're never escaping my dungeon none of this is real this is all an illusion you don't know what reality is and then they're just like yeah actually joke's on you we knew that you were gonna do this so uh point swords at him and they're like so give us everything you have and they kind of loot him and then leave and it's really funny <laughs> so i recommend that you read it all right and my next book is not americarati which everybody thought i was gonna do i picked something i had no interest in reading which is always a good practice i picked dc comics bombshells number 33 i think this is the last issue of the series but who the hell knows uh, it looks like it's going to come back as Bombshells United. Um, that being said, yes, I have no clue what's going on, and the way the characters interact with each other isn't awful, but at the same time, it makes literally no sense for most of these characters to be aligned. Um, I don't know why Lois Lane is, like, a newsie, and why is that important, and should she really be on the battlefield with, like, doomsday-level characters, and... I just, it wasn't as insulting as I thought it was going to be. It just wasn't good. Why would you read this? I don't know. I don't understand. I, this started as a variant cover month theme where they just made them look like cool little pinup characters. And I don't know. Superman has a weird mustache. And I'm just not about this. So really, when it comes down to it, my pick of the week is Sex Castle. Everybody go support Kyle Starks. Yeah. That's all I got. All right, guys, and that is it for another week. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe to our channel. Make sure you watch last week's. Uh, st <laughs> Make sure you watch last week's stuff. Tim is probably in the shot at this point. Uh, Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to Capes and Scouts channel, <laughs> and we will see you guys next week.